hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to use singleton pattern uh, singleton is actually a software design pattern and it is used when only one instance is required in the system let's take an example of this dialogue now we want to show this dialogue in our in many scripts uh, let's say we have a script called game start and we want to show uh, some message to user when our game starts similarly if we have a script called player now whenever player do something we want to notify the user through this dialogue now because the dialogue will be the same in our whole system so what we can do is we can uh, uh, make use of singleton pattern so uh, now uh, what benefit will we get by using this singleton in our game now let's say in all of the scripts the uh, in which we want to show this dialogue uh, we have to take the public reference of this dialogue uh, because uh, in without that we cannot show this dialogue so we have to take the public reference of in each of the script but by using singleton we can do it without taking public reference of this object now what i mean is let's uh, create an empty game object and call it singleton and on that we have a script called singleton let's open this in our uh, visual studio and this singleton script will be responsible for showing the dialogue now to show the dialogue we will first take a public reference only in this class now public game object and let's call it dialogue now we will have a function called show dialogue and it is going to be a public function and in here we will simply say dialogue dot set active to true now uh, to access this singleton we need a static reference that we can access without creating an object now to do that we will simply say public and static and we will use the same class name right here and create a single instance in our script and set it to null now in the wild awake function we will check if the instance is equal to null then instance will be equal to this object only now save this script and let's cut it and put it right here now let's go back and let's we have a script called we have an object called player now let's name it player and player want to show this dialogue so what we can do is we can create a new script called player demo and open it in our visual studio now to show the dialogue we don't have to now take the public reference of the dialogue instead what we can do is we can simply use the singleton clause singleton dot instance now we can access all the public methods properties and variables by using that singleton instance now i am going to simply call this show dialog function now let's go back to unity now here we have a player demo script and on the singleton we have this singleton and we need to initialize this dialog so simply 
drag and drop it right here now uh, let's disable this because now player is going to show this dialog now if i play the game you now you can see that now our dialog has appeared similarly we will we can have another uh, script another game object let's uh, call it uh, game manager and on that sorry gm and we can uh, same we can do the same thing in our gm script uh, let's open it in here and now in here we can similarly use singleton dot instance dot and we can use all the public properties and functions inside here without taking the reference of our single uh, our dialog now So uh, that's the uh, how we implement the singleton and it has a lot of uses in your game let's say you want to implement ads and uh, you have a script for that is responsible for showing and hiding the ads you can simply create a singleton reference of that ads class and you can uh, call its show ad and hide ad and uh, any function that you have in that script without taking a public reference in each of the script